Hi, this is Julia Gulevich from GLOG Software. In this video, I'll walk you through the steps of the import wizard and show you how to import the recipient's email addresses and other fields like first names, last names, company, phone and others into a group in GLOG EasyMail. Let's take a CSV file as an example. There are five fields in this file. The fields are email, first name, last name, company and phone. We'll use the import wizard to import all the contact information into a group. So open GLOG EasyMail address book and let's create a new group. Click on New Group, type a group name, you know uh, Jalokis email skips duplicate email addresses during the import. So if you want to import duplicate email addresses into the group, Check the allow duplicate emails for this group. This is very convenient if you have the same email address associated with several recipients in your file and you want to import all the records with the same email into the group. Now click on the full list button to show all the fields available for the group. Now check if the fields that you need to import exist. For example, in my file I have email, first name, last name, company and phone. If you see that some fields are missing, you can add your own fields yourself. Click on add field button, type a new field name. Select the field type, set the field size, and if you need to add another field, click Add Field button again and type a new field name. Select the field type. Set the field size and when all the fields are added, click Create. Now click on Import Wizard button. At the first step, you need to select the file type that you will import the emails from. In my case, I select Text and CSV files. Click Next. Select the file on the disk. Click Next. At this step, select the delimiter used to separate the fields in your file. In my case, I select delimited characters such as comma or tab that separate each field. Leave other fields by default. Click Next. If the first row in the file contains the field names, you can type 2 in the first row field to skip the first row and start importing from the second row. And here you can specify the last row for importing. If you want to import all the records, leave this field empty. Leave other fields by default and click Next. This is a very important step. At this step, you must map the fields in your file to the respective fields in the group in GLOG EasyMail address book. 
you can click on this button to auto-map the fields. Carefully check if the mappings were set correctly. If they are not, you can make the adjustments manually. To do this, click an arrow in the field heading and select the right field name from the menu. In my example, the first field is email, the second field is a first name, the third field is last name, the fourth field is company, and the last field is phone. When the mappings are set correctly, click Next. At this step, simply check if the mappings are set correctly once again. Field 1 – Email, Field 2 – First name, Field 3 – Last name, and Field 4 – Company name, and and Field 5 – Phone. Leave the check mark for the email field as is. This check mark means that Glock Easy Mail will identify duplicate records using the email field. As I told you, Glock Easy Mail skips duplicate records during the import. And if you want to import duplicate email addresses, you need to check the Allow Duplicate Emails for this group option when you create the group. So when the mappings are set correctly, click Next. At this step, you simply preview the data, how it will be imported. If everything is correct, click Next. At the last step, select the import mode. For example, I select add record to the destination table and click execute. But before I click execute, I want to tell you about the import specifications. The import specification remembers all the steps of the import wizard you've just performed. And using the import specification, you can quickly import another file with the same structure. So let's save the import specification. Click on Specifications button. Click Save. Type the specification name and click OK. So now click Execute. Now, for your convenience, you can hide unused fields from the screen. Click on this button and remove the check marks next to the fields you don't use. And now I'll show you how the import specification works. I have another CSV file with the same structure. Like the first file, this file contains the fields email, first name, last name, company and phone. Now let's use the import specification to import the records from this file into a group. Let's create a new group. Click on the Import Wizard. Click on Specifications button. Here is our import specification. Select it and click 
load. The specification was loaded. Now click Next. At this step, you simply need to select another file on the disk. I select Email to File and click Next. As you see, the settings are predefined. If you use the Import specification, you only need to click Next on each step. As you see, the fields are already mapped. And at the last step, click Execute. As you see, all the emails were imported. So this is how the import wizard in GLOG is email works.